Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together and give the Lord a shout? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I am so excited this morning. Today is the eighth day of the revival, and I know you will never be the same Amen. wherever you are coming from. The Lord is with you. The Lord bless you. Turn to your neighbor and say, Welcome to Rema House. One thing assured, you will never be the same this morning. Amen. This morning, on behalf of the presiding bishop, Bishop Dominic Newlove Alote, and our first lady. The Reverend Naomi Alote, I want to welcome all of you to Rema House. If today is your first time, feel at home, you'll be blessed. I want to welcome all our cyber audience. Let's put our hands together and let's welcome our cyber audience. Wherever you are in your home, get ready. You will not be the same again. Amen. Turn to a neighbor and say, get ready for fire. It shall be thunder and lightning. Get ready. You will not be the same again. Amen. Shall I be seated in his presence? Let be seated in his presence. One thing I want you to do is to be in expectation. Because this morning, your life is about to change completely. Amen. So I want to quickly observe all protocols and just let, let it begin to flow. There shall be the video announcement. Then the dance ministry will come and give us a dance. Then we'll take the second announcement. Then we'll do the confession by Dr. Valley. And then the prophet of the house will Bishop will take the, come and lead us in the tight. Amen. Shall I receive the announcement at this time. Welcome to Living Faith Ministries International Church and a special welcome to all the mothers in the house today. Living ladies, we are raising the standard. Every day is a special day for us, but today starts with a special blessing as we recognize the immense grace that goes into being a mother. The hard work, the dedication, the nurture, and of course, the love. Today, we celebrate not only mothers who have birth but those who have exemplified what it means to be Proverbs 31 woman. Through your resourcefulness, creativity, 
and wisdom. Your life is impactful. May God continue to bless the work of your hands so that we can continue to be a blessing. As you know, this is a year of supernatural advancement. I will conquer. I will prosper. So know that God will expand, increase, and accelerate all that you do. Here at Living Faith, we are one church in two locations, New York and Accra, West Africa. Our vision as a church is to transform lives through the power of the Word of God. Give us three months of your life and the Word of God will transform yours. To engage with us online, please take a moment to follow, like, and subscribe to Conquest TV on YouTube, Living Faith Ministries International on Facebook, and my favorite, Living Faith Rema House on Instagram. Our weekly service schedule follows. Thursday is our success in live service at 7 p.m. Come, learn about principles of God's word to teach how to live a prosperous and fulfilled life. Friday at 7 p.m. is youth meeting where the youth in this house join together to learn fellowship and have fun in the Lord. Saturday morning at 7 a.m. is Jericho hour, a time of intense prayer to shift heaven's attention towards your cause. Sunday morning is our celebration service, a time of praise, worship, dance, seed sowing, fellowship, and of course, a time to receive the Rima word of God. We are so happy that you are worshiping with us today. Thank you for your participation in making the vision successful. Together, we can move mountains. God bless you.
Amen. One more time. Give God another bigger clap offering. Amen. I would like to welcome everybody to Living Faith Ministries International Church. We are one church in two locations, transforming lives through the power of, through the power of, one more time, transforming lives through the power of the word of God. Amen. We are led by our mighty man of God, our Bishop General Dominic Mule of Alote, as well as our First Lady Reverend Naomi Alote. Amen. And then another one for our resident pastor, Pastor Jonathan Adiko, and his wife, Pastor Gloria Adiko. Amen. A few quick announcements. One, remember, today is the eighth day of our prophetic explosion. Amen. I know we've all been blessed. We've all been blessed through the teaching that Bishop has been bringing us through this whole week. Remember, the scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. The theme is fulfilling our prophetic destiny. Bishop has been teaching us that the prophecy that God has spoken for each one of us has gone before us. So every day that passes, each time the earth turns, we're getting one step closer to that word that God has for each one of us. Amen? So that prophetic destiny, I'm believing in God and I have faith that this week, through the assurance of our guest pastor, um, Prophet Ernest Owusu, he will be bringing us through, each one of us, closer to that destiny. Amen? Amen? How many of us know we're reaching our, our prophetic destiny this week? Amen? If you know you're reaching your prophetic destiny, give God a mighty hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So remember, each day that the earth turns, every day that it passes, we're getting closer. Make sure you're here. We have services every single evening this week. Make sure you are a part. Don't miss out on your prophetic destiny. Because I know I'm not missing out on mine. Amen. Next, we have, um, again, another announcement for the Ghana Missionary School. Remember, we're in need of, of, of technology, computers, phones, whatever uh, you have that still works, that's in good condition. Please see Pastor Gloria. Um, if you have a connection to a school or something like that, uh, let Pastor Gloria know so we can mobilize people to go and pick up those items. Amen. School furniture, you know. Okay, school furniture, you know. Furniture, chairs, couches, <laughs> anything that you need. <laughs> Make sure you let... That's the glory of Noah. Joshua, don't joke with the announcement. I'm not joking. Okay. <laughs> Next, um, we have our Living Ladies Conference. Give God a mighty hallelujah. <laughs> Living Ladies. Living Ladies. Remember, your, your conference is coming soon, approaching very quickly. Um, the dates are June 15th to June 18th. The Thursday Bishop will be kicking us off with a mighty teaching. You know the way Bishop comes when he's focused on a conference, the way he opens it up is with a different kind of fire, amen? amen. Then the Friday, we have the movie, the movie um, God is Africa, uh, $25 ticket. Remember, the actors will be here in person. Please, everyone, make sure you buy your tickets and come and support the conference. The Saturday, there's a brunch from 11 a.m. to 1.30, and uh, Lady Rose Prempe, um, she's a lawyer, a mighty woman of God. She will also be ministering and teaching during the brunch. Please make sure we're all apart. And the Sunday, remember all the living ladies, you'll be wearing your, your cloth. Amen. On that Sunday. And remember, that's also um, a Father's Day. So ladies, you're coming in your beautiful cloth, you know, mixing it up so that you can also be the apple of the men's eye <laughs> on the Sunday. Amen. Um, so give God a mighty clap offering for the ladies conference. Remember, June 15th to June 18th. And lastly, the last announcement, we have our main program from the, for the year, the Conquest Summit, from July 16th to July 23rd. Give God a bigger clap offering. I'll keep announcing it. Remember, the theme is God will cause your, your, God will cause your advancement. Amen? God will cause your advancement. So this week, we're reaching our prophetic destiny that during the conference, God will usher us through uh, uh, an exponential increase, an exponential advancement. Amen? Remember, the scripture reference is Esther chapter 10, verse 2. I won't read the scripture, but our speakers are Bishop Dominic, our very own Bishop Dominic, um, a new teacher, a new preacher called Dr. Gary Alanis, and some of our, our, you know, very familiar faces, Bishop Jerry Grillo, and the uncle of the house, Apostle General Karanchiankar, amen? So remember, X out these dates on your calendar, because it's approaching soon. 
Um, that's all for the announcements. Let's welcome Dr. Valley to come and usher us through our confessions. Amen. all stand. The Lord is a man of war. His name is the Lord. Amen. I give honor to God, to my bishop, my first lady, Pastor Jonathan, Pastor Gloria, and our distinguished guest, Prophet Ernest. You know, Bishop, I was sitting down the other day and I was thinking. I do that a lot. I live by myself. <laughs> and I was thinking about a time about 12 years ago. I was sitting in your house one night, and you was doing what you do best. You were expounding on the word of God. Now, most of you don't know, I'm the one that gave him the name Gangster. <laughs> because when I came to the church, Minister Yemi had invited me, and I was like, okay, well, what is this guy saying that I never heard before? I've been saved for 31 years. And then another friend, a prayer partner, came to me and said, yeah, there's this African guy down in Mount Vernon. <laughs> And I said, you know, this is the second time I'm hearing this. I said, I think I need to go and check it out. And when I came, there was a guest speaker. But then I said, you know what? I want, who's the pastor? I turned around and said, who's the pastor? And my friend said, he's there. I said, okay, I'm coming back to hear him. And when I came back on that Saturday morning, it changed the trajectory of my walk with God. I said, this is where I need to be. I said, because he was walking back and forth and for those of you who don't know, I was born and raised in Harlem during the height of the drug game, the civil rights movement, during the 60s and 70s. I know gangsters. And they weren't afraid of each other. But the thing that impressed me with Bishop is that he wasn't scared of the devil. And I said, the word of God, with Bishop, uh, you know, I, I've gone to his house. We, we had a storm. It knocked the, the, the power out. I knocked on the door, I came in, and I was scared because Bishop was sitting by the, the window reading the Bible. Then another time I came, he was sitting in the kitchen, and I was in there with Mama Naomi, and, you know, we were talking, and he was reading the Bible, so I was like, oh, well, I, maybe I should, like, leave. He was like, where are you going? I was like, well, I, you know, I didn't want to disturb you. We went into the living room, and he sat down and began to expound on Scripture. But, you know, I learned that 35 years ago when I was in Bible school, the teacher said something and he said time is just a portion of eternity marked off by God to show man the shortness of life and the certainty of death and Bishop when I sat in your house one night you probably don't remember this but you said to me you said Valley don't you know that we live in two worlds you said it is the invisible that controls the visible you said nothing happens in the natural unless it first happens in the spirit now I had already been saved for 31 years but I said, see, there, like you said last week, there's a difference between knowledge and revelation. That changed the trajectory of my prayer life. I said, you know, and it opened up my eyes to see what had happened with me growing up. There was a principality over the territory of Harlem governing demonic activity. But it was Bishop Gangsta Alote, okay, that taught my hands to war. And now I went back into Harlem and all of those guys who were gangster, when they look at me and say, hey, I say, no, it ain't that. Okay, you was gangster in the street. I'm gangster for Jesus. And I'm telling you, I know that God has assigned my hand to a work. But these confessions, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. The word of God is a weapon. And when we make these confessions, they shouldn't just be vain repetitions. We should believe what we say. Yeah. Having said that, yeah. let's do the confession. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That your word never fails. Never fails. I, I therefore, therefore boldly declare that, that I am a king, king and a priest in Christ. In, Christ. in, in this year, I will conquer and, and I prosper. Will prosper. I, will I will dominate and rule. And rule. I will, I will serve in the power of the, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. By, By your word, I am connected to the boundless resources in Christ. In Christ. Therefore, Therefore, I will advance in my walk with God, in my family and relationships, in my, relationships, in my finances and financial endeavors, in my academics and profession, and in every area of my life. I will apply the word of God which dwells richly in me 
to accomplish everything I have set my heart to achieve this year. This year. I will never be afraid because the Lord is with me. Premature death will never be my portion. My light will shine very bright to the glory of God. I declare this is my year of supernatural advancement in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Let's keep on standing. I want you to locate about 20 people and say to them, I declare this is my year of supernatural advancement. Come on. My year of supernatural advancement in the name of Jesus. My year. I think we should do that song. I think we should do that one. Nothing is impossible. Suspend the other one and let's do that so that we can we can hold time. Oh, it's my year. Turn to your neighbor, it's my year, it's my year. I'm not here. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is my year. Say it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening live. Come on, say amen. We're gonna take, let's take our tithe very quickly. And then I will do the communion, take the communion of the, let's keep on standing. Let's stand together. Um, Psalm 8 verse 3. Psalm 8 verse 3. Look at, look at it. If you took an envelope um, on Sunday, please, when you are coming, you come and drop the envelope. Or um, once we are doing the tithe, also come forward and drop the envelope. Um, Psalm 8. Psalm Eight verse no Psalm Psalm eight the last verse Psalm three verse eight sorry Psalm three verse eight Psalm three verse eight let's all read together let's go now I want you to give it give it to me in a message Bible your blessing is upon your people turn to your neighbor and say neighbor I see the blessing of God over your life say so you smell like the blessing come on. Uh, I'm not here. Come on, say, neighbor, you smell like the blessing. Come on, say, say, neighbor, I, I can smell the blessing all around you. Oh, let's read it. Let's go. One go. Oh, your blessing clothes your people. Oh, I, are you wearing some blessing this morning? Oh, I, I don't think you are in the house. Are you wearing some blessing this morning? Oh, your blessing is clothing us. I am clothed. I'm covered with the blessing of God. Come on, shout a big amen. And we understand that these blessings of God are always obligated. The, 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 the blessing, uh, it, it, it comes upon us because we fulfill certain conditions. And one of the conditions is our tithe. He said, bring all your tithe. And I'll open the windows of heaven and I'll pour down a blessing. Blessing are not stuff. It's not things. Blessing is a supernatural momentum. It's a force released from heaven. And when you are clothed in that blessing, there is nothing, nothing on earth that can touch you. In Jesus' name. Say amen. Get out and come to the front if you have your tithe. Take your seat, the rest. I don't know where I will be without the blessing of God. The blessing. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I am I am an I am an embodiment of the blessing of God. It's not it's not salary, it's not income, it is the blessing. God watches over me and my family is the blessing. God takes care of us is the blessing. Come on, say amen. Supernatural favor left and right is the blessing. Amen. All over is the blessing. Come on, say amen. Lift it up. Say, Father, I bring my tithe to your storehouse according to the word. You said you open the windows 
of heaven, you pour me down a blessing. I thank you this morning. In obedience to your word, I bring my tithe to your storehouse. Release your blessing. Clothe me with your blessing. Let the whole world know that I am a blessed man, a blessed woman. I'm clothed with a blessing. Make me a delightsome land in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Now you can drop it. If you took an envelope last week, you didn't have the opportunity to drop it. Quickly come and drop it. Jesus. Happy birthday, my son. Happy birthday. Yano, how are you? Amen. Okay, so let, let's take the communion. Bring the communion here. Let's take the communion. Let's take it off. Jesus has sanctified these elements. You said when elements are prayed over deceased from their natural use for a spiritual purpose, let this element change in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, quickly. Are the cross, are the cross where I first saw the light. Let go. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. Pastor Jonathan, please let it go fast. He was stand by faith. I received by sign. And now I am happy all the day. Other roads, other roads, other roads. Where I first saw the light And the burnings of my heart Rolled away It was then by faith I received my There is healing in your blood. There is healing in 
is power. There is power in your blood. Oh, Jesus. There is power in your blood. Oh, Jesus. Let's all stand together. Open the seal and take the body. Open the seal, take the body and lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, the body that was broken for us, I ask, even as we partake of your body, bring healing and health to us. Let your name be glorified. Honor is yours in Jesus' name. I want you to eat it. The same night in which he was betrayed, he took the cup and supped it and said, Take this and drink. This is the blood. Of the New Testament. The Bible says when I see the blood. I shall pass over you. The Bible says the blood. That speaks better things. Than the blood. Of animals. And the blood of Abel. May the blood speak for you. May the blood speak for you. May the blood speak for you. In the name of Jesus. I pray. That. Any sickness hiding anywhere in your body, as you partake of the blood, may it be flushed out. In Jesus' name, drink it. Keep on standing. Tell my troubles, at last I lay down. Oh, oh, I will cling to the old rock cross Ooh, and exchange something for it. Take your seat for one minute. Take your seat. Everybody is welcome. If you are here for the first time, please can you lift up your hand? Let's give you. Rima House, welcome. Give them a clap offering. I see one hand. I see, yes, I see one hand. You are here for the first time. Let's see you. I see two hands. I see three. I see four. I see five. I see six. Come on, give them a clap offering. I see seven. I see eight. Come on, give them a clap offering. Can you stand very quickly? One minute. Can you let stand, 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 please stand, stand wherever you are. Stand. Come on. Stand, stand. Let, let's let's cl clap our hands. Give it to them. God bless you. This is Living Faith International Church. One church in two locations. One church in two locations. New York and New York and Accra. Amen. New York and Accra. You are welcome. Your life will never be the same. Never ever again. You are about to hear the incorruptible word of the Lord. Amen. Your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Um, I, I, I know Becky is where. Becky, you are somewhere. Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca, come, let me pray for you. I'm sorry for your loss.